We're skipping the intro because we all know this is the ultimate ARCAD template, the best online that gets better every single month. This time around, we're talking about bathrooms, like right here in front of me, the ultimate template bathroom. So what I've done for this month is actually facilitated every detail you'll need in the bathroom, including the keynotes, which we'll get to later down in the video. As impressive as it looks in 3D, let's get a quick overview in 2D first. So what you'll see is we have our generic bathroom layout. We have our bathtub with our bath filler at the bottom. We have a multi-piece vanity basin. So the vanity itself, the basin itself, the tap, and of course the mirror above. Each one is an individual item because we're getting super specific about this. We're using real world products rather than just generic items. That way our model is realistic, our renders are realistic, and when it comes time to buy things, we know what we're buying. We have a storage cupboard at the back which we've replicated from our kitchen previously, up the top. If you haven't seen any of the Ultimate Arcade tutorial videos, there's a kitchen and scullery video, there's a laundry video, there's a full tutorial on the his and hers robe, as well as a complete setup of what's been done to date on this template. And I can only guarantee there is heaps that has been done thousands of hours worth that you can get full access to through Patreon in the description down below. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Next, we have our custom water closet that again is a tailored product. So if I open up my settings, you'll see this is the ABI specific floating toilet pan. Now I've tailored it for my template. So it's obviously gone the custom pen color for water and all things plumbing related. So it's gone blue, obviously. It's set up on the perfect MEP plumbing layer and of course the classification is correct because it is a concealed system hidden in the wall we have our wall we have our custom flush plate our floor waste and our towel rail all the items perfectly aligned ready to go similarly in our shower we have the custom abi elysian gooseneck shower rail with the handheld device additionally you'll see the mixer a custom bench seat and of course our linear drain below in two pieces to top it all off, we've got three coat hooks along the back wall. So now let's have a look at this in 3D because that's the joy of ArcCAD, right? Whatever you do in 2D replicates quickly in 3D if you're using the right objects. So slowly flying through, we've got, of course, the bathtub, the bathtub filler. Then we have our vanity basin. If I escape this, scroll in a little bit further, we have our vanity itself. That's a custom off-the-shelf ABI product. We've got two individual ABI basins. Then we've got two individual mixes and two individual backlit LED mirrors. To top it all off, I've gone ahead and recreated the textures that we previously created in this template for the ABI KitKat tiles and the travertine tiles as well. I just didn't like what they used to look like before. And if you haven't seen it previously, this was the old texture. It just doesn't align. It's too pixelated. It's way too out of shape. So I've custom created a brand new texture with natural unfilled travertine that ties perfectly with our floorboards again recreated custom for the job underneath the vanity basin you'll see our floor waste which is a full 3d model and then to the side of the vanity two glass shower doors with our hardware and our glass all ready to go if we then fly into our toilet as best we can obviously confined space you'll see that flush plate model, the low wall, the toilet roll holder, our floor waste next to the toilet, and of course our ever so slightly floating toilet. Now, personally, I love floating toilets. It means you can mop under them. You don't have to worry about mold or anything in between, and nor do you have to worry about the silicon reapplying at the base. So perfect floating toilet, bathroom set up. Additionally, what you'll see is one of the custom windows I created in a video previously, perfectly lined up the top. So we have a little 600 mil highlight letting in plenty of natural light into this bathroom space so that when you're in the bathroom or in the shower, you're getting a bit of natural light. I haven't designed the rest of the building. God knows what it's gonna look like. It happens naturally every month as the template expands. So potentially there might be a skylight, potentially there might not. We'll find out in many moons to come. Last but not least, if we fly into our shower, we've of course got our shower door similar to the other side. Then we've got our two linear drains below. Now, these linear drains are tile matched, meaning they're identical to the tile itself. So you never really notice that they're there and they just look absolutely seamless. This bench seat in the middle is a very narrow bench seat. And to be honest, I'd probably like it to be travertine as well 
to match the floor so it breaks up that texture and materiality a little bit more. But you know, we're getting into the nitty gritty of things. I'll undo that and leave it as the Kit Kat tiles. We of course have our shower head from ABI with the handheld mixer, two point attachment and our actual shower mixer on the left hand wall as well. So when you walk in, you can turn your mixer on, then you can stand underneath your shower. And of course, if I pan around, you'll see these three coat hooks on the left-hand wall so that when you open up your shower, you need to grab your towel, your floor towel, you can easily grab it without walking water through the entire bathroom. What you'll see in the background is a sneak peek and the starting of the master bedroom suite as well. So I've incorporated a few little bits and pieces, but I'm still playing with it. That'll most likely be next month's video. There's a lot more furniture that needs to be found for the master bedroom. For instance, the typical Archicad bed is just generic and boring. You can get some awesome stuff in 5D render, but I'd still like to have some nice stuff straight out of Archicad. So we'll work on that. We'll work on some chairs and extra bits and pieces in next month's video. But for now, let's keep talking about bathrooms. In the view map under 3D objects, like always, you're gonna see the bathroom tab now no longer says coming soon like it did last video. Instead, we've got all of our objects that we've just discussed and a few more completely plotted out so you can copy and paste. Now, for those of you that are new here, the reason I do it this way is because you can come in, select all of these items, meaning you get the mixer, the shower tap, the linear drain, and the keynote all in one, rather than having to save the favorite of just that shower head, then just the mixer, then just the linear drain, and adding three different items in plus a keynote. I find this way to be a lot more efficient, but hey, everybody's different. Feel free to save them to your favorites if you want. So of course, we have the freestanding bath, double vanity, shower, and concealed floating toilet that we discussed. Then we additionally have your typical cistern toilet from ABI, a concealed toilet from ABI that's floor mounted, and then our linear and floor drains as well. The accessories have been broken up as well. So you've got your coat hooks, your backlit mirrors, and toilet roll holders. Now, these accessories are just the ones that I've used in the template. What you'll notice is if you open up the objects panel, just type in ABI. I've included a ton of feature updates in this library. So if you're using the template, make sure you read down the library to get all of these new features. There's new items in plumbing, there's new items in textures, there's new items in materials. Just download the whole library again and reinstall it. But what you'll see is of course, all of the new mirrors, toilet roll holders, towel rail holders, hooks, grab rails, etc. even additional vanity basins. So I've gone ahead and downloaded multiple vanity basins, textured, fluted, oblong, oblique, square, oval, whatever you need. I've downloaded as many as I can that I think are practical and realistically will be used in a model. If they're not from ABI, the chances are there's another supplier that supplies something exactly like this in your country. So don't fear about just using an ABI product. I'll point out as well that this isn't sponsored by ABI in any way. I've reached out, I've tried, but they haven't got back to me. So if anybody from ABI is watching, let me know. I'd love to talk more because I think your products are awesome and they deserve a little bit more credit than they get. Finally, just like all the extras, we also have the shower head we talked about, a two-piece shower head if you wanted to get a little bit more specific, a freestanding outdoor shower head, and a couple little extras as well. All of which have been added to this template specifically rather than any previous one. Additionally, like I mentioned originally, we have all of the keynotes we need for a bathroom ready to go. So under documentation in keynotes, you'll see the addition of our keynote MEP panel and I've renamed fixtures and fittings to introduce some items into here. So MEP plumbing, we have bathtub, bathtub, floor wastes, hand basins, vanity basins, everything we need to start documenting. Now you'll notice in my floor plan, I haven't used the floor waste. I haven't labeled the actual shower head. I haven't labeled the mixer nor have I labeled the hooks because it just gets too messy on a floor plan. You're gonna label all those items on the room layouts, again, later down the track. But we might as well create them all now because we've thought about the items and we've created the items. So we've got the keynotes for it. And if you're wondering what refer to addenda for selections means, make sure you watch the programmer videos because that's how I'm gonna be doing all of the selections for this ultimate art template when it's all good and done. Anyway, that's all for me team. And that's all for this month's Ultimate Archicad template update. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. But like always, I'll see you next week.